every night here on Fox 9. We're going to take a closer look at the weather and maybe learn a couple of things at the same time. Tonight, a really serious topic, actually, one that, I mean, Scott, we talk about this every summer. It's mm -hmm. about why you shouldn't leave kids or pets in cars in this kind of heat. Yeah, certainly. It, it's, it's actually it's the greenhouse effect is really what it is. And what's happening is, is that all that energy from the sun is going into your car and it's not making its way out. So basically what you have is what this is, shortwave energy going in. So on a sunny day, it's going in through you. You can block out a lot of the glass will tend to naturally block out a good deal of UV radiation. So it's difficult to get a sunburn, by the way, if you're curious about that, especially the windshield blocks more UV and then the side windows do. But it's still what we call shortwave energy getting in and that long wave energy can't escape. The sun heats solid objects and so it's heating everything inside the car, the dark dashboard, the seats, and that heat is just radiating in, but that energy can't escape. So that's that greenhouse effect. And so we're talking, you get 85 degrees outside, not even that hot, it can go to 140 inside the car. So again, it seems obvious, but obviously there are times, unfortunately, we have to let people know what is going on. So common sense indeed, you just do not want to be outside. Can't even just roll the windows down a little bit. It's just plain too hot. All right, Scott, good advice. I mean, I know it's something we talk about all the time, but yeah. this time of year, I have to reiterate it. Appreciate right. that. Well, dangerous malware.